Ryanair is one of the most successful airlines of all time, and though they aren't always the most loved brand, they're certainly the cheapest. Minus the 70 euros for forgetting to print your boarding pass. Their hard landings yet exceptionally cheap tickets have put them in the limelight, as well as their impeccable safety record. With a whopping zero fatal crashes in 38 years of cheaply provided service, despite a controversial move of placing an order for hundreds of aircraft directly after 9-11. But why does Ryanair have such a reputation for such bad landings? Well, there are several different reasons why, most of which will be covered in this video. But, of course, hard landings are not exclusive to Ryanair alone, as many different outcomes can come into effect when you factor in things like wind speed, wind direction, and so on. However, it seems that hard landings are far more prevalent in Ryanair than any other airline. First of all, we need to compare low-cost airlines, like EasyJet and Ryanair to flag carrier airlines like British Airways or Lufthansa. The term, flag carrier, is used to refer to an airline that is state-owned, previously state-owned or the state owns shares in the company, and they may use the name or flag of the country. Low-cost airlines are generally known as no-frills airlines, budget airlines and so on and so forth. They generally offer, as the name implies, no frills and very cheap fares, and Ryanair is one of these. To start off with our reasoning, Ryanair operates a fleet of over 400 Boeing 737s, and in general, they do have very hard landings. The training manual for a 737 dictates that you should not try to make the aircraft float. Here is the quote, do not allow the aeroplane to float, fly the aeroplane onto the runway. Do not extend the flare by increasing pitch attitude in an attempt to achieve a perfectly smooth touchdown. In other words, don't pull the nose up too long before touchdown. Secondly, Ryanair is also known for their extremely quick turnaround time, which means how long it takes them to take off again from landing. While Ryanair generally takes 25 minutes to get back in the air from landing, it takes most flag carriers over an hour to get into the air again. Due to this reputation, Ryanair pilots often don't want to waste time taxiing, and thus make a landing to stop sooner along the runway so they can get into a taxi lane quicker. Ryanair also, as a no-frills airline, employs newer pilots. Unlike flag carrier airlines, who usually fly with more experienced pilots, Ryanair will likely be using less experienced pilots in order to save on the cost. Finally, Ryanair is a budget airline. And because of this, it mostly flies to secondary airports with shorter runways. Due to these shorter runways, the pilots may have to touch down sooner in order to not go off the other end. Now, this isn't to say that all Ryanair pilots are terrible and can't fly a plane. It is likely a combination of all of the aforementioned reasons that cause these hard landings. Thanks for watching and subscribe.